the government is leaving, but the protesters are not. For the third night, there is violence on Beirut streets. The scalp of a prime minister and his government, not enough to quell the anger. Hassan Diab resigned less than a week after the explosion which has taken this country further into chaos. He promised protesters justice, transparency and change. He will become a caretaker prime minister until elections can be held. But it is the perception of a lack of care which has done for him. When I spoke to him two days ago, he acknowledged the tragedy, but not his part in it. That position has not changed. There is no doubt that there is a lot of corruption over a period of three decades. There is a political layer that has been ongoing for too many decades. And we are here facing all of these accumulated problems from over three and four decades. But are you going to go onto the streets today or this weekend and speak to people about I'm not about sure the when tragedy? I'm going on the streets, but are I'm part of the people. Are you afraid of people's fury? I'm not afraid of people's fury, but of course... Uh, but do they have uh, a have, right to be furious? Absolutely, they have the right to be angry and furious. That anger is felt acutely by the family of three-year-old Alexandra Niger. She died when the explosion hit her home. She was a fantastic uh, human being. She's uh, the happiest person I've known. Uh, if there's one thing uh, Tracy and I are, uh, are glad uh, about is that uh, we really think that she spent probably the, the best three and a half years uh, anybody could have had. The family home overlooked the port. This was the aftermath. They had no idea such a cache of lethal chemicals were being stored just metres away. I really believe that our daughter was uh, was victim of a crime, if not, uh, if you can call it a murder of uh, uh, incompetence and uh, uh, negligence. It's a crime. I feel very angry about it. Like so many others, the family had protested against the country's corruption and mismanagement. They've chosen to speak out in the hope that Alexandra's death is a catalyst for change. You know, maybe uh, uh, Alexandra, her death could lead to the miracle that the country needs, because we definitely need a miracle. There's nothing else that can save us. Uh, so let's, you know, let's uh, communicate, let, let the people hear the story so that it triggers uh, the humanity in people that are still following these guys and maybe it, it triggers something even in, in these murderers, I don't know. If they look at the eyes of their child before going to bed, I don't know. It, maybe it will uh, bring back the uh, ounce of uh, humanity that, uh, that might stay in them. This explosion destroyed much of the past, the present and for so many, the future.